Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create dynamic column headers in a matrix visual, especially when you're trying to display current year sales and previous year sales. For example, I have a matrix visual over here and if I choose a year from this particular slicer, let's say 2017, it just says current year sales and previous year sales. I have two different measures created to display current year sales and previous year sales, but it does not tell me that which year sales I am looking at. If I select 2019, this particular header remains the same. However, what we want to achieve is something like this. When I choose a particular year, let's say 2019, it needs to show that this is the 2019 sales and this is the 2018 sales, which is previous year. So if I select 2021, this will change to 2021 sales and this will change to 2020 sales. So this is what I will be teaching you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let me show you the table that I have over here. I have a sales table which contains all of my sales information and then I have created a calendar table. Now if you don't know how to create a calendar table, please look at one of my videos that I have made on my channel. I will leave a link to that particular video in the description as well. Please go and check it out. So once I've created a calendar table, I have created a relationship between my sales table and the calendar table using the order date field which is there in my sales table. So once the relationship has been created, we need to go back and create another table over here. So I'm going to go here to the modeling tab, click on new table. In this new table over here, I'm going to call this as year and then is equals to, I'm going to say distinct year from my calendar table. I'm getting the distinct years from the calendar table. So what this is going to return is a table with the distinct years that we have in our calendar table. So once this is created, let's go back to our report and let's create a matrix over here and let me bring in the data that I need. So from the sales table, from the sales table, I'm going to bring in item type into my rows and then let me get sales into my values. So this is what I have right now. And then I'm going to create a new slicer over here and bring in the year from the calendar table. And then I'm going to go here into the visual settings and change this to drop down or even um, a vertical list. So let me change this to vertical list and this is what I have over here. Now let's create a measure which will display the sales for this year as well as for the previous year. So to do that, I'm going to come here into my sales table. I'm going to click on new measure. So let's call this measure as sales this year and previous year. Over here, I'm going to define a variable. So let's define a variable starting with VAR and then I'm going to say underscore sales is equals to calculate sum of sales from my sales table, comma, and then I'm going to say calendar year. This is the column that I have in my calendar table is equals to selected value from my year table that we created. So this is the distinct year table that we created. So I'm going to get the values from that particular table and then I'm going to close the bracket over here. Let me quickly also just format this. So now I have my variable created and then I'm going to say return. I'm going to write an if statement over here. If my selected value of the year from the year table in, I'm going to open the curly bracket over here and say max of year from the calendar table, comma, max of calendar year, close the brackets, minus one, close the curly brackets here. So what this is doing is it's looking at the selected value year and then it's looking in the list that is first it goes and checks at the max year that we have selected. Let's say if we have selected 2020, it goes and fetches the sales for 20 for the year 2020. And then it also looks since we are passing an N list over here, it will also go and look for the max year 2020 and then does minus one on that, which is 2019 and then return the sales amount. So my if argument, so this, if it is true, then it's going to return the sales amount else it's going to return a blank value. I'm going to close the bracket here and commit to this particular code. And now what happens, so I'm going to get rid of the 
column that I have over here. In the from the year table that we created, I'm going to bring in the year into the column section over here. You will see an error, something like this. It says that it can't display the visual, but when you bring in the sales measure that we created into the values field, you will see that we are now seeing both the years, which is 2021 and 2022. If we have not made any selection, it's going to show the latest year and the previous year. Let me come over here and get rid of the column subtotal so that I do not have a total column. Now, if I make a selection, let's say 2019, you will see that we've selected 2019 over here as well as 2018. So if I select 2015, you will see 2015 and 2014. But if I, if you select 2014, you will only see 2014 over here. Now you can also customize the column header over here. Let's say I want to add string value as sales before or after the year. So I'm going to create a new column in my year table. I'm going to call this as header is equals to I'm going to say year from my year table and and then I'm going to say sales. I'm going to leave a space over here and then say sales and press enter. And now instead of having the year in the columns, I'm going to add the header into the columns. Now you will see that it says 2014 sales. If I select 2019, it says 2018 sales and 2019 sales. So this is how you can create dynamic column header when it comes to displaying this year and the previous year sales in your matrix table. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.